There is a secret path climbing below the waterfall cliffs, through the palm trees, and back to the bottom of the waterfall. The only way to get there is to clamber through a cave, and suddenly, when you get to the end of the cave, you look up to see the top of the waterfall flowing like silk across the cliffs. Life is a collection of moments. Fleeting moments of beauty that seem unbelievable. They say that in me, like when the mist from a waterfall catches the light on the exact angle to create a rainbow that arches over a secret cave. And through that cave is an oasis pool that sits below the cliffs. The morning light beams through the waterfall's mist and the rainforest wakes up with the sunshine. There's all this speculation up high on the plateaus feels like another world, a magical fairyland where winter's golden sun spreads across the vast rainforest. Our friend Freya is about to go travelling, so to say goodbye, I'm taking her on this beautiful hike up high in the mountains above the farm. I forgot the way, so we've got lost twice now, but that's all part of the fun. I always get so excited by beautiful moments. I turn into a child again as I look at a rainbow or a beautiful sunset. Freya loves that it's similar to when people clap when an aeroplane lands. Something that is so ordinary that we often fail to see it as the extraordinary wonder that it is. We become accustomed to these moments, but I think it's great to celebrate like that internal child within all of us to acknowledge the beauty, the extraordinary, the small moments of joy or awe that make life what it is. To look at the world through the eyes of a child, seeing everything for the first time and realizing just how beautiful it all is. These awe-inspiring moments in nature have been inspiring us in our everyday life. We are sisters and we live in our old farm shed in the Australian rainforest. We're learning to be self-sufficient, to grow our own food, to preserve for the future, harvest our own water, to fix old things and to sew our own clothes. We're learning from traditional skills, observing the past to help us in the future. Mostly, we're learning to see the awe and wonder in all of these small moments. We've been building this garden or paradise for the ducks for so many months now. We've had so many dreams for this yard. Originally, it was a patch of weeds, and for my birthday, I got a roll of fencing wire. Since then, we have been dreaming about flower fields, duck houses, and ponds. And most of those dreams have come true by working hard and together as a team. But the pond has been the hardest project. If you've been following along for a while, you would know that this pond has been a big journey. I think back in summer I tried to dig it by hand and it was so hard I think I got like two shovel loads out and then gave up immediately and then it just hasn't been done for such a long time but then we got our friend to excavate it and then it started raining all week and now it's cool we harvest the rainwater from the gutters of the shed and then it comes down into the top pond and then into the bottom pond and hopefully that'll mean that it'll stay full most of the time. We're going to try to seal the pond naturally using clay. 
The first step is to collect clay, and luckily since the floods we have access to a lot of clay. This is a landslide that happened in February, and it slid the whole hill away, exposing the red clay underneath. when their bright orange feet pop up. I feel like the ducks are acting like the drill now. <laughs> They're just stirring it all up and hopefully getting all of that clay in.
back on the old grindstone. <laughs> we live and farm on the land of the Rockwall and Minjibal people of the Bunjalung Nation. We acknowledge the traditional custodians of the country we live on and recognize their continuing connection to the land and waters. We thank them for protecting this rainforest and its ecosystems since time immemorial. attempt was this, this was supposed to be a flower, but it's more just a splodge. And then I just did lots of practices. I got a bit better. And then I embroidered a duck, which was pretty good. I'm proud of my duck. And then yesterday I did this, which I'm super proud of. It's still a bit messy, but it's so beautiful. I keep embroidering all my old samples of clothes that I were experimenting with, so they're a bit rough and you know, there's a few mistakes on them. So I thought it's a good place to practice because I'm probably going to make a lot of mistakes. This top, I think, two years ago, out of an old embroidery um, tablecloth, and it was oh, it had a few stains in it and it had some holes in it. So I cut around them and I used almost every single piece of it and made this, which I'm so proud of, and it's so beautiful. The embroidery is incredible. I've never seen anything like it, so I'm really inspired by it. but I think that's what it's so beautiful about it. Like it's not like a machine that just puts the exact embroidery that you want on it. You've got to do it by hand and it gives it so much character. It's so cool. This top was very dodgy before. Like I wasn't happy with it. Its back is pretty bad. And now it's made it wearable and beautiful and something that I'm going to treasure forever. Thinking, I know it's tough. Could you 
send a simple message from above and let me know you are happy. Let me know you're smiling back at me. <laughs> Some advice How'd you get through all the times Throughout your life How'd you show you were happy How'd you know oh, Keep you on your smiling back I guess for the climate just to fill in the holes It had to leak down So maybe now next time it fills up It will have to block all the blockages I could fly a thousand hours Buried in the sky And I know I'd be happy And I know I'd be smiling Just for me yeah. The music in this video is by Jordan Prince whose warm songs are always a reminder to sit still and listen to the world. Thanks so much for watching and please like and subscribe. And thanks so much to our patrons whose support, advice and friendship we are so grateful for.